Hi, I'm Mark Cleghorn. Uh, welcome to the Photograph Academy, and today we're talking uh, wirelessly shooting with the Case Air Wireless. Uh, it's a Tether Tools product, and you already know I'm a massive fan of everything to do with Tether Tools and basically how I get an image from the camera to a computer of some kind. Do you know what? Let's not kind of talk about it too much, let's just do it, okay? So the first thing's first, on the laptop here, I'm just gonna press my Capture C. I'm gonna look at the camera though first, and I'm just gonna smile, a cheesy smile. And I've just taken a photograph. So um, all photographers really, it, it's, it's not for that. You know, we could be photographing locations, food photography, whatever it would be. You've seen me shoot loads and loads of product photography and loads of food photography. So when a camera cannot either be seen or accessed, this is a, per a perfect way. But also if I'm working in the likes of a restaurant where I kind of don't want to touch the camera for very, very long shutter expo exposures, it's a kind of a remote release as well. Um, we can also use the app on the phone. I'll talk about that now in a minute, okay? But I thought we'd just go straight from the beginning and talk about it. So the first things first, you're gonna see in the Case Air remote here, basically this is the, win uh, the window that is gonna control all the camera settings if you want it to, or it's gonna be basically your trigger point, okay? We're gonna to get to that in a minute. I'm gonna close, uh, close that down. What I have done though is I've set up a, fol a folder on my desktop just called Case Air, and within it, um, it's the well, it's in the shoot uh, the shooting folder. It's called Case Air. That's just really where all these images are going to be stored. Um, but however, remember they're going to be stored on the camera as well. So this is just a kind of quick access. Now I'm shooting a RAW and a JPEG file, but in fact, in the settings, which I'll show you later on, I've only set it to actually download the actual JPEG file itself. Okay, so um, I can kind of ignore that one that is there. What do we need to do? The first things we're gonna do is make sure when you're, set, uh, you're setting up for your first time is that we're gonna to have to connect the, wi uh, the wireless in, all right? So in other words, if I just click onto my settings for a minute and I go into the network, you can see that the case uh, air is basically my, net, my network. Let's go up to camera and basically switch this off. So in the setup mode, the first thing I'm going to do here is kind of switch the camera off. That's where we'd usually be, isn't it? And, and actually, the little product that we're talking about is the Case Air. Okay, so this little dongle, it's going into the camera on the side, in, into the little slot. And then basically, uh, this is going to uh, send the information that we need. Ignore the, the kind of the trigger on top of cam uh, the camera. That's just the fire, the flash. And of course, if you look on the back of the Case Air, you do have a cold shoe mount here that can actually be used to actually mount, mount, mount it. As is though, I'm using my little jerk stopper. That's always attached to the camera anyway. That stop, stops any strain or any weight being put onto the side of the, cam of the camera. And I've just uh, attached the other side, excuse me for a minute. So that's the one I've actually attached new from the Case Air box. And then I've already got my existing one that's there. Right, you can see there's a solid blue light and an orange light. Orange is telling me that it, it's not fully charged. If it's fully charged, it's green, okay? The blue light means that it's, it's connected, it's ready to rock, as it were. I'm gonna switch that off just by pressing the case air, and you can see pretty much there's no lights on the actual uh, unit itself. Let's now press it on. And then it's gonna come on with that little orange light, as again, because it's not fully charged. Um, but then we've got the flashing blue light will start to actually kind of come alive in a minute. There you go, it's flashing. I'm gonna wait for that to go solid blue, all right? When it's at solid blue, we're gonna be ready to rock. It'll just take a couple of seconds or a minute, you know, depends on the vicinity, but pretty much we're ready to go. Okay, so it's there. At this stage, I'm now gonna turn the camera on and let's go back to the laptop. So as you can see now, the case air has come up and I'm already connected because I've done it before. So it comes there. So don't worry if you go from camera to laptop and basically you don't see that wireless straight, straight away. It takes a, a, a couple of minutes to actually just get itself all live. Once it's there, it's ready to rock and we don't have to reset it again. And uh, next stage for me is basically I'm, I'm ready to go. So um, let's just uh, launch the case air uh, remote. You can download this uh, free of charge from the actual um, app store. And if you're an Android, you can download the same thing. Just look for that little black square with the three kind of orange lines as it were. 
Right, now, before we get into everything else, let's just prove the point and just take a photograph. So we're gonna hover over Capture C, cheesy image, and basically uh, it's gonna kind of download and show us the image straight away with it. <laughs> Please don't plaster that all over the net. Um, but hey, it works, that's the main thing. So um, now let's kind of just explore some basic settings in here to make sure it all kind of works. Um, if you want to just step back for one minute, remember the way that I found the best way to set things up are, make sure that the uh, case remote is not live, as it were. Make sure that the camera is switched off. And then when you switch on the case air little dongle itself, wait for it to go solid blue. When it's in solid blue, then go and switch the camera on, then come to your laptop, then go to your wife, Wi-Fi, select the case air as the wire, uh, the wireless, then launch the app. That's the system that I would do it in. Pretty much it's gonna work all the time with it. I mentioned that I was uh, setting where things were gonna go and what I wanted to do. On the, um, the kind of the window, you can see settings there, and we've got some things to switch on and off and select. Depends on how much you wanna do. So if I was photographing for real on location, uh, in a restaurant or on a beach or whatever it is, um, I can basically say, okay, just download the JPEG file so the art director can see it, or I can actually download ev everything I'm going. Remember, everything remains on the card as well. So it's not when I'm kind of capturing and going straight into Capture One using Tether Tools, ca uh, the cable where the file is being not saved on camera at all. This is being saved on camera and onto the PC itself. So we've got uh, a few little things to kind of explore. Obviously the main top part of the window here is all about the camera settings itself and how it's being seen from the, cab uh, the camera. But I can go in and basically make the adjustments here if I so wish. Uh, we want to actually really kind of look at the settings first, okay? So let's just come down to the bottom right hand side of the window, click on settings, that will kind of bring the other wid uh, the window up which you can kind of scale in size. And um, for the first things first, I would choose where you want your images to be stored instead of just into the picture folder, wherever it would be. Especially if you're using the likes of an external drive, uh, plug in your external drive, make sure it's the, the same place all the time and basically it's gonna be saved, uh, saved off to it. Especially if the laptop is only a kind of a capture source. Um, re really you're gonna be working possibly from your main compu uh, computer. It saves having to download onto another drive and then take the drive across and blah, blah, blah. You know what I'm on about. Okay, so once we've kind of selected the drive, you just click onto it. As I said, on my desktop, I've created a shooting folder. Within there, I've created a, fol a folder called Case Air, and that's where those images are gonna be stored. Um, if we need to update the, fir uh, the, uh, the firmware, it will be telling us anyway. And then if we just look down the left-hand side, the main ones to actually pay atten attention will be, it's uh, basically the auto thumb uh, thumbnails. We definitely want that switched on. Exclude the raw transfer. Now, I've just switched that off because I didn't really want to save all the raw files coming down here. They're, remember, they're still being saved on camera, so I haven't got any worries about that at all. The next one is gonna be image push. What is image push? It means that it's gonna uh, push it up onto the screen. If I close that down, it won't show me the image that I've just taken straight away. Then we've got things like auto download. If you don't want to be doing that, then you don't have to be doing that at all. And then of course, you've got options like the auto focus and control of the camera. Uh, remember, as far as this is concerned, um, you can, basically shoot not just stills, but you can shoot video in live view as well with it. Um, if you're looking at the other options we've got here, it also allows us to have instant bracketing, uh, uh, focus stacking for uh, macro photography or product photography, uh, as well as obviously going into the actual bulb and the time-lapse mode as well. So bulb, remember, stays open until we say stop, and the time-lapse you can kind of pretty much set any time that you want with it. So it's not as difficult as everybody thinks it is to set up, in fact, really. You saw it straight from the beginning. So uh, just to prove the point, if uh, let's do another one. So capture C, smiley cheesy shot, comes up because of the image push, comes straight up uh, in, in the viewer so we can see the one we've just done. If I just double click into Case Air, 
we can see here now the actual uh, images that we've just downloaded as we're going through it. Okay, so it's a step-by-step -step process in, in ev every stage. A quick reminder before we move over to the phone, in the setup, what you need to do is basically make sure that the app is not uh, open at that point, so close it down. You're going to make sure the camera is off before you switch the case air on. I definitely would recommend to you that you're using the jerk stopper um, than just allowing it to kind of hang on the side and things really. It, it goes without saying, you're protecting the USB slot, plus you're also protecting the lead uh, and kind of making any mistakes. And if you've seen me at work in studio, in studio, I know I'm a bit of an elephant, so I want to kind of minimize any kind of damage to the camera. And that jerk stopper is worth ev every penny. And better still, it comes with the case air. So when the case air is off, there won't be any lights on the unit itself. When you press the case air on, you will actually see a colored light at the top. Uh, orange or uh, green. Green means it's fully charged, orange means it's charged. Um, then you're going to see the blue light instantly come on, then go off, then start to flash. Remember at this stage it's trying to create its wireless and do its thing and whatever it is, right? Just let it go to solid blue. When that's on solid blue, then switch the camera off, then on your PC, Mac, whatever you're kind of capturing to or using as it, we want to look for the actual uh, uh, the Wi-Fi that is case, okay? And once you select onto that one, pretty much all we then need to do is open up the app. It remembers the folder where you last saved to. It will acknowledge the camera on the top. If it doesn't, then basically there's some communication kind of gone on. Uh, um, but all we need to do now is press our C and we take the photograph. So uh, again, that's the simplicity as far as the case air, as far as the computer is concerned. Let's switch this off, all right? And then we'll use what the app is. Okay, so what are we gonna do? First of all, I've downloaded the app here and you can see on the top, at the top of the screen. In my settings though, I'm just gonna click on the Wi-Fi and you can see straight away I've got the case ready. Let it acknowledge, do its job, then open the app. When the app comes live, let me put that down on the glass top for a minute. We'll see that uh, basically it, it kind of goes into the live view mode and the reason being is that little eye there is on, okay? So if I switch that off, nothing's visible. So remember again, if I have the eye on, which is by default the live view, it's gonna actually go into the live view mode, agreed? But we wanna take flash photography. The same thing applies now, we're just gonna press the button. Cheesy smile, Clegorn. And that is then actually gonna come down actually onto the phone itself, and we've got our image. So. Whether you're deciding to use the likes of the app on your laptop or your computer, or you're using it actually on your phone, you get the ability to actually get wireless transfer of images at the minimal cost and pretty much 100% guaranteed. Hope you've enjoyed this information film on the Case Air for the Photographer Academy. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.